justify murder on the on the behalf of officers, you know, confronting citizens because basically, I mean, we know the justice system is corrupt. So we know in some of these cases, it's not even a question where you have like where the victim is someone that clearly poses no threat, maybe handicapped, you know, maybe like like clearly poses no threat. Now, I'd like to mention that recently I read something in the New York Times that was talking about the new, um, you know, some people want officers to wear the video cameras mm -hmm. all the time while they're working. It was funny because this article was kind of saying that, oh, that's not a good idea to take video. It's like saying something stupid like video is unreliable or something like that. See, I don't understand that. And then you have these departments that then will say things like, okay, well, the officers will wear the cameras, but then they can turn, turn them off in these circumstances and, you know, all this kind of thing. So I guess what I'm saying is that people don't trust officers. Um, and I agree also that you have the noblest intentions and that most of your officers are good people and they're intelligent and they're more you know, culture open to different cultures and all that kind of stuff. But you have some crazy cop. I mean, well, I'm just saying there exist, you know, some mm -hmm. cops that misbehave. So I think people just they want those cameras on all the time, you know, and so that there's there's actual accountability for 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 these, you know, murders. Well, Mary Neesparker, she did sign off on the cameras for rights. Well, let me let me inform you something. The Houston Police Department has had cameras for over a year. Limited number. I've called for why body. not all of them? They cost maybe a dollar each. Right? Yeah, but no. Let me finish. We've had cameras in the Houston Police Department for over a year. Now, because the technology is changing rapidly, like flat screen TVs, they are obsolete. I called for body cameras two years ago. Put it in my budget and got zero funds for it. Zero. Now, a camera is not a substitute for good police community relations. It's, it's a poor substitute. Will it make police more accountable? I think yes. Will it adjust the attitude of the person on the other side of the cam camera dealing with the police? I think yes. I think you will see attitude adjustments on both sides of the camera. Now, let's just get to a technical point. There is no vendor manufacture of any body camera where the police can turn it on and it can't be turned off. Doesn't exist today. One, the, the, because of the battery, that it, battery power it takes to run video, it wouldn't last, an officer's ship. The cameras that we have, they're obsolete in terms of Cameras today are more high definition, they're better in low light situations, the clear clarity has better stabilization, that's what I'm talking about. But an officer can't edit anything from one of our cameras, they can't delete anything from one of our cameras, and a camera won't resolve all the issues, and here's why. There's video footage in the Eric Garner case. We saw what happened. But did it produce the results or the outcome that many people wish for? No. There's 32 cameras on every single play in the NFL. <laughs> when the coach throws a challenge flag, sometimes the comeback is inconclusive. Sometimes they said, look, we don't have enough evidence to overturn it, so the play has to stand. 50% of the folks in the, in, the, in, in the stadium are happy, 50% of the folks are unhappy. But people disagree and they're looking at the same evidence. They do. They, and that will continue to happen with cameras. Now, there are some researchers have been contacting me that's getting ready to do research on body cameras, think that it will erode police community relations. Because they said those interaction chief will become so sterile and mechanical, they're not going to be true relationships. The citizen is going to have a cell phone. I don't trust you, cop. Taking the cop, the cop is going to say, well, mine is on too. I don't trust you. The elderly lady who lived next door to the gang member or the drug dealer is not going to tell you because now they're on camera. 
Police officers have to take restroom breaks. What if they had a camera that wouldn't turn on? <laughs> they got to meet with their supervisors. They take lunch breaks. On some situations, because of the law, you can't record a juvenile. Would you want a sexual assault victim being interviewed on camera? What if you had a burglary at your home? Would you want that officer walking around with a camera filming yes. all the contents yes. of your home? Where well, your next door neighbor can file an open records request and say, hey, we want to see what's in that. Thing is, it, I don't think there's really any good argument for the police not having cameras. I mean, obviously, the bathroom thing, you know, like, I, in general, you could basically have the camera on all the time. The video goes to the police department servers, right? It sits there, it's secure. And then, in those cases where the officer murdered somebody, you can pull it up, you know? And the thing is, like, I don't follow all these police murder cases. Like, isn't the Garner one where they choked him on the ground? This is not a football play. This yeah, is no, like, uh, but I'm going to have to disagree with you. Murder is a legal definition and a legal charge. And... There's no Houston police officer that I know since I've been police chief been charged with murder. Okay. So I'm not going to throw that allegation out there. If you're part of the media and you're a professional journalist, you just don't throw information like that out there. See, that's part of the problem. You have a responsibility to the public. You don't call a citizen a murderer when they shoot somebody and the grand jury don't indict them. You don't say, well, that guy got away with it. He, didn't mean, get, do it. he wasn't convicted ethics, with right? murder. 